very nice R34 GTR rolling in now. Cleanest S13 convertible I've ever seen in my life. That looks really, really cool. And another JZX rolling in. Welcome to what is going to be the first vlog of 2022 on this channel. Today is going to be a very, very simple drive in the city. I still haven't been to Daikoku at night this year. I did go for the New Year's uh, meet that happened on the first Sunday morning, Monday morning. One of the first mornings of 2022 I went there was a bunch of supercars, so I didn't really take a video, but it's 8.30 p.m. Just quickly going to get on the car right now and head on to Daikoku and see if there's going to be anything interesting going on. It is a Sunday night. Usually nothing's happening on Sunday nights, but tomorrow's a national holiday. So everybody's going to be off tomorrow, which means there should be a lot more people today at Daikoku than there would be on a usual Sunday. So let's go and check it out. cars than anticipated so it's a good thing that we came here today check out this FC very very nice super super cool let's just walk around and see what else there is here today nice JZX 110 looks very nice and clean Very nice R34 GTR rolling in now. Those are pretty cool fenders. I've never seen those front fenders before. There's a ridiculous amount of 86s and BRZs today. This is just three of them. Probably the wildest one here right now um, with the version three Rocket Bunny kit. That's very nice. I like the color. Seems like a really custom Corvette that just rolled in. bit of a muscle car scene here that Mustang looks pretty cool as well but that Corvette is just ridiculous it looks like something out of need for speed and another Corvette that's a massive spoiler on it as well I guess it's a bit of a USDM gathering here today And a lowrider that just rolled in. It's quite a bit of everything here today, really. And we got a nice NSX looking beautiful there. With four Evo 10s. And just as I say that, the NSX fires up and is about to leave. Let's listen to that. more and more people rolling in now. It looks like a really hit day to come to Daikoku today. Wow, those are a pair of clean Sylvias that just rolled in. 180SX and then Zenki S14. We got a very nice JZX90 Cresta rolling in. Can't have a Daikoku night without some JZXs. Another one on the other side, a silver one this time, JZX90 Cresta. Wow, look at that. I believe that's a GTO. Again, something you don't see very often. This Altezza also caught my eye on the entrance. Very cool. Another Evo. I'm not sure if this is a five or a six. Let's see. It is a five. That's a very nice Evo five. Check out this beat up S14 right here. Wow, completely bumperless. 
then there's a few GTRs in this corner, including this Nismo R35. I believe this is a 2020 model. I've driven the 2015 one quite a bit and it was amazing. I do kind of miss it actually. It was like the ultimate poser's car. An insane S14 landed next to these guys. Check out this convertible S13. That looks super, super cool. Wow. Quite a lot of camber on this. This is probably the cleanest S13 convertible I've ever seen in my life. That looks really, really cool. This one looks pretty, pretty good. That's a really big C West spoiler on the back. I dig it. I actually kind of like this new Supra, not gonna lie. Obviously I prefer the old one, but even the new one can look really, really cool once properly modified. Seems like we got some more lowrider style cars rolling in now, including this mini truck. That's pretty hilarious. I haven't seen these kinds of cars in a long time, at least not at Daikoku. That's awesome. More cars rolling in. And another JZX rolling in. Check out this really cool 180SX that just rolled in as well. Love that old school spoiler on the back. And another Supra. to look at this 180 with the b-wave spoiler on the back that looks so awesome and i'm not sure why the uh headlights are covered in this 3d paint but still pretty cool stop by real quick to check out this stupidly low s15 i wish it was on slightly better wheels than the r32 gtr wheels but that still looks really awesome and this crown next to it they came in together another very beautiful 180sx rolling in One of the best things about Daikoku is that they have this convenience store right here. It's usually kind of out of everything at this time, but I hope there's at least a hot drink or a hot coffee right now. I guess this rolled in when I was getting some coffee. A Liberty Walk 86. Quite a few of them are red or blue. It's the first time I've ever seen the orange paint on this one. Check out this JZX 71 that's leaving now. How's he gonna make it up the slope? Damn, that sounded crazy. Another 180SX, this time a Sil80 with an S13 front. particularly important detail that I missed earlier when this rolled in was I didn't realize it was left-hand drive so this is actually a USDM 240SX rather than a 180SX as you can see right there that's awesome I, I'm seeing a lot more of these left-hand drive cars here in Japan which is really really cool to see as well a bit different take a look at this Laurel damn that's so low And unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye to Daikoku. 
It's been a long time since I've seen Daikoku just that good. There's so many cool 180SXs and so many other cool cars. Even those uh, American muscle cars that were there, awesome to see. The whole car scene here tends to transform about one week ahead of Tokyo Auto Salon, which is exactly what it is. The Auto Salon starts this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can just feel it in the air. I think, I think it kind of has a big impact on places like Daikoku. So I'm really, really excited, which brings me on to like, what's coming in just the next week on this channel. So in terms of what's coming up tomorrow, January 10th, I'm going to Nico Circuit to watch a drift event organized by Car Modify Wonder, the uh, body kit maker. And then on January 13th, which is this Thursday evening, I've been invited by one of the RWB owners to go to the annual RWB meet, which always happens the day before Tokyo Auto Salon kicks off. And then, as I said, 15th, 16th, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be all day at Tokyo Auto Salon and I really can't wait to go again. And I mean, last year when it got canceled because of COVID, it was really, really annoying, but hopefully this year it doesn't. I mean, there's only like less than a week left. The, the cases are starting to go up here in Japan as well, unfortunately, but I don't think it's enough time for them to cancel the whole event. So I'm really excited to go to Tokyo Auto Salon again and I hope you guys are as well. Um, there will be at least four or five videos coming up in the next week. So if you are new, please make sure to subscribe and check out all the videos that are going to be coming out. And if you're not new, or even if you are new, please drop a like on this video and let me know in the comments, which car was your favorite car from today's Daikokumi. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video.